And you know it's never too early to start planning for your child's education. So the state of Ohio actually is helping you put some of that money away. Tim Gorel, executive director of the Ohio Tuition Trust Authority, is joining us. And uh, Tim, you're saying it's actually pretty easy to save for the future. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, good morning, Ariel. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, so what we're often asked is, uh, what is a 529 plan? I think uh, before we get to that, we need to address why a 529 plan. And frankly, the enemy here is student loan debt. Many people turn to student loans to pay for those education experiences after high school. And it's to the tune of $1.7 trillion in this country. And if you think about that, you go into this exciting education opportunity, you work very hard, come out the other end to a, uh, you know, to an exciting career opportunity, only for the next 10, 20, 30 years uh, to be paying back uh, that, that loan at a, a great, great amount, much more than what you, mm -hmm. you borrowed. So we would submit to you to consider saving up front uh, and for as little as $25, you can open a, a college savings account, 529 account. Uh, what this is, is after tax dollars are invested in stock market options, they grow tax free, and whenever they're used for qualified expenses, there's no tax implication. So you've kind of spoke a little bit about the benefits of an Ohio 529 plan and how it works. You know, how can someone use this? Say they've been saving and putting money in that account, how and where can they use it? Well, very importantly is uh, you, you can use it across the country. Uh, a lot of times people think, well, if I invest in Ohio's plan, then I'm limited to, uh, you know, to education opportunities here in, in Ohio. And uh, that's simply not, not the case. While we would like people to choose education opportunities here in Ohio, uh, come out to an exciting uh, career opportunity, live, work, and thrive in Ohio, not everybody do does that. So any trade school, technical school, two-year, four-year, public, private, any education entity that has a federal code, you can use your 529 funds for. And the, the qualified expenses include uh, tuition and fees, room and board, uh, books, computers, and uh, it's been recently expanded to, to include apprenticeships, and you can use up to $10,000 to help repay those student loans if loans come into play. So if, you know, Christmas, birthday, Hanukkah, whatever we're looking at here, and say we have family members that want to give gifts, how can they put that money in the 529 plan? Uh, very easily. Uh, I mean, we, we have a very... Uh, usable online access and it's through a UGIF platform. So if a family has opened up a, um, a 529 account for their, their child, the grandchild, uh, they can share this code with family and friends. So on those special occasions that you noted, uh, people can give, give the gift of uh, college savings as opposed to maybe uh, things that parents and grandparents say kids have enough of. And uh, Tim, we were talking just a bit ago, you were telling me that you guys have a promotion in the works, and this might be something families want to take advantage of. So can you let us know a little bit more about that promotion? Yes, yeah, so one, one of our many partners uh, are the Toledo Mud Hens, and we're very pleased to partner with them and the Toledo Lucas uh, County Library System to promote the Home Run Readers Program. And so between June 1st and uh, August 6th, you know, kids who are in the reading program and, uh, you know, keeping their reading skills honed throughout the summer, uh, they can enter for a $529 college savings award. And at the end of the season, uh, the Med Hens will host uh, that winner along with 50 other of uh, the readers uh, at the ballpark for a pizza party and a baseball game. Sounds like a great time. So if, uh, you know, I'm a parent, guardian, whatever, or a student even just listening to this, I think the takeaway is go sign up for the library's reading challenge, read the book, participate and maybe you'll get a pizza party with your family at the end of it but more importantly you're going to get an investment for your future in your Ohio 529 account right right absolutely and uh, in, in the best time to start saving is when the baby's born yeah time life gets away from us so start today Tim thank you so much for joining us and sharing some of that insight we appreciate your time thank you Ariel